Drake got arrested? Drake got arrested in Sweden? Oh my goodness. Another champagne poppy, man. Oh, Sweden, you fucked up this time. We're gonna come over there and kill y'all asses, man. Your status as a peace, peaceful country no longer exists. You want a war? Oh, you're getting a fucking war. You don't mess with champagne poppy like that. You don't mess with our champagne poppy like that. We're gonna come after you. So be ready. I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. Drake didn't actually get arrested. That was that was a rumor that was floating around earlier today. And, you know, it wasn't true, so... I still just felt like making a little joke about it. Because I thought it was um, kind of funny. <laughs> and you like that? I'm chewing on some good five gum right now. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. I'm sitting under the same tree again because, well, why not? But yeah, Drake didn't get arrested. Although, to be perfectly honest, I wish he did. To, I wish he did get arrested because honestly, he fucking deserves to be put in fucking jail for dropping two garbage ass albums back to back. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Two. Garbage ass albums in less than a year. Unfucking believable. From from possibly the biggest possibly the biggest rapper in the world right now. Two garbage albums. I cannot fucking believe it. Now there was certified lover boy, and then we got honestly never mind back in June. Now, I made a video about Certified Lover Boy, and if you watch that, you know damn well I was not a big fan of that album, and I'm still not a big fan of the album. And, um, when it comes to Honestly Nevermind, which I didn't plan on doing a video for, um... And the only reason why I never planned to do a video on talking about, honestly, never mind, like an exclusive video talking about that album was because I just, I could not finish this fucking album. I couldn't. Like, you, you, you thought Certified Loverboy was long? I mean, Certified Loverboy is the longer album, but honestly, never mind, felt like it just went even m more like on and on and on and on and on. Like it's like this dance house album, or just a it's it's just it, like it's a house album, all right. Where, you no know, Drake doesn't really rap; he just sings over these like really like really mediocre house instrumentals that sound very cheap. It sounds like they sound very cheap, and the whole album just sounds very low budget. And it, it just sounds, it, it, like, Drake does not even fucking, like, for the most part, even try on this album, bro. Like, he just riffs away into a fucking abyss on, like, almost every song on this album. The only highlights I can say are, is the song Jimmy Crooks with 21 Savage, which is not, which is the only song on the album that I guess you can't really say is, a, is like, a, a dance song. It, you know, that's the only, like, hip-hop song on the whole album. Which I don't know why it's included on this album, but it's there, I guess. And then there, there's the song Sticky, which is not that bad. And I guess um, the song A Keeper is okay. But my god, bro. Yes, I wanted Drake's, you know... Sorry, I'm taking pauses again. Yes, I did want Drake's next album to be shorter and have less tracks and not just be filled with a bunch of filler. But I wanted a good project. Not some... Mosquito. I want, like... I want something good, bro. Like, this dude... This dude can do anything and get away with it. 
I mean, this man still sold over like 200,000 copies of this fucking album, of course. Like, I've seen people on Twitter say this album is like the redemption of Drake after Certified Lover Boy. Like, what? Are you, like, uh, what the? What are these people hearing, bro? Like, I don't hear anything when I listen to this fucking album. Like, uh, like some of the songs on here sound like demos. Like, the mixing is horrible on some of these songs. So ba horrible. It just sa it like it just sounds like some throwaway. Bro. Yeah. I don't understand how how someone like Drake who is like a multi-millionaire an insanely successful artist puts out the type of puts out music that has the quality of this fucking project honestly never mind i don't i don't fucking for real and yeah i did i did want drake to you know do more singing stuff but i wasn't satisfied with this whatever this abomination of a project is like this 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 album honestly never mind sounds like it, it sounds like if drake hopped on a bunch of like low quality throwaway beats from daft punk and i feel like saying that saying that the beats sound like low quality um, throw away Daft Punk, be Daft Punk beats. I feel like me saying that is being very generous. <laughs> oh my god. Hell, oh, bro, this this album was worse. But honestly, never mind. I honestly thought it was worse than Certified Lover Boy. I honestly thought it was worse. But that might just be me, though. I don't know. Maybe I gotta listen to it more because I'm. I guess you could argue and say I didn't listen to the project enough, but I just. I can't get myself to want to listen to it all the way through again. I just can't. I just can't, bro, because I. I literally forced myself to listen to this project all the way through because the. The first time I tried listening to it, I stopped listening to it after, like, the song Currents because I was just like. No. I was just like, no. Like, you know Currents, right? The song with the squeaky bed in it. Like, the first time I heard that, I started dying laughing. I thought that shit was hilarious, actually. Like, it just sounds so goofy, and it just made me fucking... I heard some people say it's like some Jersey club type shit, but... Um, it sounds like shit, so no thank you. I know I didn't upload a vlog yesterday. I just wasn't really feeling it. So. Now it's another one of those fucking things again. She stay away from me. It's one, another one of those ladybug spider looking things. I don't even know what they're even called. To be honest. I don't really got much else to talk about. Going on. Oh yeah, I mentioned um, my driver's test in the last video. I couldn't do my driver's test yesterday because um, there were certain things that I didn't bring. Um, I had to bring my birth certificate, but I brought a photocopy instead because, well, I didn't know I had to use the actual birth certificate. So I brought a photocopy instead. And they wouldn't take that, so. Get this fucking thing off my... Get out of here. So yeah, they didn't take that, and I... Apparently, you have to have red decal on, on your car, so... Couldn't take it down. But who knows, maybe it's a blessing, because I'm not really that good of a driver anyway. Actually, when I, I had to drive 40 minutes to this place. 
and I actually almost crashed. <laughs> I almost crashed, or like, almost like, I, well, I wouldn't say almost crashed, but yeah, I almost like, I almost lost control of the car because um, I wasn't really thinking and um, I went to go make a turn somewhere, like a left turn, and um, I was going way too fast and I turned very, very aggressively. And yeah, I don't know, like driving, I don't know, it's just not really, you know, you, you think I'd be excited about it, but I'm not because like, I don't know, just like driving really puts me on edge. It really does. I don't know why. It just does. And I'm trying to figure out ways how I can like like it's like driver stress, I guess. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can like drive without being so damn like having so much anxiety and be so damn stressed out. I don't know. Maybe maybe if I was alone in the car I'd be better. But I don't know. Because, you know, I have to have my dad with me or somebody in the car with me that's, like, like over the age of 18 or has their license because, well, I only have my permit, so. So now I have to reschedule a new thing because of that whole thing. <clears throat> yeah, there's that. I don't really got much else to talk about. I just wanted to film a vlog because, um, I guess try and keep you guys up to date on my thoughts. Even though I'm not the best at explaining, explaining them, but I try my best. There's a lot of ants crawling around. You can hear a bird somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. <laughs> anyway, um... That's all I really got to say. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.